Hey, what's up you guys? My name's Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be comparing two face masks together. One is $10 and the other one is $1,500. And these are both magnetic face masks. These used to be very popular a while ago. I've never done a magnetic face mask before and I just thought I would compare a $10 one with a $1,500 one and see how the difference is, if you should just buy the $10 one or if it's worth buying a face mask that costs the same price as a used car. We'll see, I guess. So before we get into this video, if you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also you guys can check out my main channel if you would like to see some animal videos that will be linked down below. And let's just get straight into the face masks, shall we? So first we have the Youthful Natural Magnetic Mud Mask. Now this retails on Amazon for $10.99. It comes in this little cardboard box. And we're gonna open it up. Inside we have the mask right here. The mask comes in this container. It looks pretty nice for a $10 face mask, but also I don't know anything about face masks or skincare or anything like that. I should probably throw that little disclaimer in there. I don't know anything, so I'm just gonna try this and we'll see what happens. It comes with a magnet. Now this you cover with a tissue and Subscribe to my channel for more quality content. We're gonna get to this part in a second. Just gonna put that somewhere where I can't break it. And then this mask also comes with like a little applicator thing so you don't have to use your fingers. Moving on to what we've been waiting for, the Diamond Anti-Gravity Magnetic Mask by Crystal Cosmetics. Now this retails for $1,499.95 on the Crystal's Cosmetics website. And it comes in this like charcoal matte box that opens up like this. I'm pretty sure this box is probably like a majority of the cost you're paying for, which whatever. And then the mask is just right here in the little container. It's covered in fingerprints, but it just says diamond, crystal, magnetic, whatever on it. I should be a beauty guru, I know, I'm so good at this. And then this also comes with an applicator thing. And of course it also comes with a magnet. So here they are side by side. If you guys had to guess which one was $1,500, which one would you think it was? I'll just let you guys answer that in the comments below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the $1,500 face mask on half of my face and the $10 one on the other half. And then we'll just see what the difference is. I'll kind of, you know, we'll see what the whole process is and how they work and, if it's really worth it for $1,500. I guess we're gonna find out. So, first, we gotta look at my face. I mean, I guess my face doesn't look terrible. Haven't done a face mask in a while, so I wanted to give these guys a fair shot at making my face look not like shit. So, yeah. First, I'm gonna start off with the $10 face mask. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's very thick looking, like, I don't know, it looks kind of thick, so I don't know. I guess we'll just get straight into it. I'm just gonna take some with the applicator. There it is. And I'm gonna put this on, which half? I'll do it on this half of my face. I might need to use a mirror for this because it's hard to with. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use the applicator, I guess, and spread it across my face. Normally I would just use my fingers for this, but I thought I would use the applicators just so I can kind of compare overall what works better.
I just hate using not my fingers because I feel like it's harder to smooth it out with an applicator. And I also feel like while you're doing this, it's also taking some of the product off. But again, I'm not a beauty guru, so what do I even know? Give this video a thumbs up if you guys think that I should become a beauty guru. Oh, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. I'm officially sick of the applicator. So I'm just going to use my fingers now because the applicator just didn't work good. That's so much better. Probably not as clean, but oh well. All right, so I applied this as evenly as I could to half of my face. And next, we're going to be moving on to the $1,500 face mask. Let's open it up, see what's inside. There's the inside. It smells really good. I didn't even smell the other one. Let's see if the other one, the other one didn't have a noticeable smell. So this doesn't really have a smell. Some people aren't into like fragranced things. So this doesn't really have like a smell to it. However, this one definitely has a smell to it and it smells really good. So not sure if it's $1,500 good, but again, this one is like really thick. Let's try to start applying it. Oh, it does not want to stick to my skin though. Yeah, over. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because. There goes $100 right onto the ground. I just hate applicators overall, okay? I tried giving the applicators a fair shot, I really did, but I just. I hate it. I hate them, so I'm using my fingers. Sorry. Sorry about it. So this one is like harder to get to stick onto your skin, I feel like, but it smells really good. I feel like just looking at it on your face, this one looks a lot more expensive. It literally looks like I'm rubbing actual silver onto my face. Also, I'm not sure about the youthful natural face mask but the Crystal Cosmetic one is actually cruelty-free. So if there are any vegans out there who are looking for a really bougie, cruelty-free face mask, you've come to the right place, my friends. All right, so they are both evenly applied to my face. Well, for the most part, I'm Gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes about, let them kind of settle into my skin, dry, whatever they have to do, and then we're gonna come back, and I'm going to kind of see how they work. We're gonna use the magnets and all that fun stuff, just so you guys can get a closer look. This is a lot, like, more wet. And this is a lot thicker and more like matte feeling. See you guys in a second. All right, so I'm back. Uh, it's about 20, 25 minutes later. I wasn't sure if the face masks were supposed to dry at all. I'm assuming they aren't because it doesn't seem like they are really drying very much at all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move forward with the magnet and we're gonna see how that part works. I'm gonna start with the $10 face mask. You take a tissue paper and you put the magnet over it and then it's supposed to take the metal out of the face mask and then afterwards you're supposed to rinse it off. So, let's do this. I'm gonna try to get close. Whoa, can you guys see that? That's so cool. Oh my God, look at this. Do you see that? That's all the metal. Thank you. 
don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a bunch of gunk on here right around where I did my nose. So that's kind of disgusting. It's literally like yellow, like pus. So that's pretty nasty, but also satisfying. So my skin looks pretty good underneath. I'm pretty surprised with how it worked for $10. That is pretty good. So, now I have extremely high expectations for the $1,500 face mask. I'm hoping it literally turns this half of my face into a completely different person. Otherwise, you might as well just take your $1,500 and get some plastic surgery, honestly. So, taking the magnet that came with the Crystal Cosmetic Face Mask, putting it under a tissue, and we're just gonna go straight in. Oh, wow. So this magnet is a lot stronger. That's what it looks like. So the tissue paper ripped and now I have face mask on the magnet. So I'm going to be switching over to paper towel. Should have probably used paper towel in the first place, but yeah. All right, so I pretty much got all of the metal off of my face. This half is pretty clear. It's a little sticky. They both leave a residue on your face and you're supposed to wash your face after you do the magnet part. So I am going to go wash my face with some face wash. I'll dry it and then we'll be back and we'll compare the difference between the two face masks. All right, I'm back. I washed my face, rinsed it off, patted it dry. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, looking at it in the mirror, I can't really tell a difference. My skin looks better than it did before, so I'm gonna say both face masks definitely worked. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I wanna say this half of my face, in person at least, does look a little bit brighter. And when I say a little bit, I mean like slightly. It does look a little bit brighter and maybe like a little bit smoother. But overall, I'm gonna have to say there isn't a huge difference. You can't really tell a whole lot from a face mask by just using it once. There might be a difference if I were to use them side by side for a month or a couple months. Based off of this first time using both face masks, I'm going to have to say the Crystals Cosmetic Face Mask that's $1,500, probably not worth the money. They both feel really good. My skin feels ex like so clean right now. It feels amazing, but there just isn't a huge difference. So yeah. Now, if you have money to just throw out the window, I would definitely give the Crystals face mask a try. I think that overall you can tell it's higher quality. Obviously from the packaging, um, I feel like the magnet was a lot stronger and there was a lot more like metal to it. And it did leave my face looking a little bit brighter, a little bit smoother. But again, what, what else could I buy for $1,500? I'd rather buy a flat screen TV is all I'm saying, okay? So with that being said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my comparison. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Once again, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. You can also check out my main channel and all my social media links. Those will be linked down below in the description. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video.